Hey everybody, James here from the Embroidery Legacy and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to create this beautiful in the hoop lace cutwork placemat. Now the supplies needed for this project are a 5x7 inch hoop, a cotton or linen placemat as this design is not suitable for quilted or heavy placemats, wet and gone stabilizer, you'll be hooping two pieces for each corner design, 6 inch double curve scissors, rayon thread and a matching bobbin, and finally, T-pins and regular pins. Now, just a note, please be sure to slow your machine down to 400 stitches per minute while stitching this lace design. Stitching at a faster speed will pull the stitches on the stabilizer. For step one, we will print four templates of the lace design and carefully place them where you'd like them on the placemat. Use a ruler to make sure that they're even all the way around. When you're happy with where they are, pin them in place. For step two, we'll hoop two pieces of wet and gone stabilizer with the placemat. Use T-pins to secure the stabilizer in place around the hoop. For step three, we're simply going to stitch the placement line for the lace design. Step four, we are going to stop your machine, remove the hoop from the machine, and carefully trim the fabric close to the stitching line. Be sure you do not cut through the stabilizer or the stitching line. In step 5, we'll return the hoop back to the machine and stitch the zigzag tack down line around the cut edge. Stop the machine, remove the hoop, and trim any stray threads poking out from the zigzag. For step 6, we are going to return the hoop to the machine and stitch the lace design. Again, make sure the speed is set to 400 stitches per minute. In step seven, we can remove the hoop from the machine, trim the excess stabilizer around the edge of the design, being careful not to cut the lace. In step eight, we are simply going to repeat the same process with the remaining three corners. Now in step nine, we're going to fill a bowl with warm water, then dip the edge of the napkin to remove the stabilizer. Now finally, in step 10, we're going to place the placemat flat on a towel to press out the excess water. You can lay it flat to dry. And there you have it. Once your placemat is dry, you've now completed the project. We really hope you enjoyed creating your own in the hoop lace cutwork placemat and be sure to share your results as we love to see them. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.